Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out some really nice text effect in Illustrator. Okay, first step, select your text. I'm going to create a new copy. I'm going to press and hold on to drag it to the left so I don't see it. From here, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to press and hold on to drag it down 30 degrees, something like that. We're going to create the three dimension of this, okay? I'm going to put it somewhere here. Select both, go to Object, Blend, and Make. Double click on the Blend tool here. Select specify steps. I'm going to increase the number somewhere around 300 and click OK. I'm going to select it, go to object, expand, click OK. Good. And now we're going to go to the pathfinder and I'm going to select unite. From here, I'm going to add a gradient. I'm going to go click on the gradient, select the gradient. I'm going to type in here 90 degrees. Um, I'm going to change the black to I gotta do it with cyan, why not? I can double click on the white, try it out with magenta, and now I'm gonna bring the other logo on the top. Now I'm gonna select this 3D fill, I'm gonna press Control C and then Control F, or you can go to edit and paste in front. This is gonna paste another copy on the front. From here, I'm gonna select the rectangle, I'm gonna make it white, I'm gonna go here somewhere in the center, press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a nice rectangle. I'm gonna right click on, arrange center back i'm going to press and hold shift then select also this 3d form i'm going to press and hold shift plus m press and hold out and just click on it it is going to create this the interior basically is cut out and now i'm going to go to the layers i'm going to bring it all the way up and i'm going to lock it i'm going to do the same thing with this so i'm going to select it go to layers and i'm going to lock this also Next thing, now I'm going to select the pen tool. I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke. And as you can see, I'm going to start from here, from this axis, and I'm going to create a line to here. I'm going to press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it a little bit up. And I'm going to create these special shading effects. It's like more cartoony. So what I need to do is I'm going to bring the line that I created. As you can see, it's here under um, the white box that I created it under the top text and between this gradient thing. So these are going to go in between. Now I'm going to recolor this. I'm going to go to the stroke and select the color. I'm going to try it, test it out with yellow, see what happens, I don't know. I'm going to increase the stroke for this and I'm going to create a new one, press and hold out. So see, it basically goes in between uh, this text and the 3D. And I'm going to decrease here to one. I decrease even more. I'm going to copy it here also, and for example, here too, and maybe here. And I'm also thinking to make these bottom parts of the 3D letters yellow. So I'm curious how that's going to look. So I'm going to copy paste one there. I'm going to scale it up, put it there, and test it out maybe. I'm going to select, you know, the direct selection tool. You can select it, select these anchor points and make it more wide. I think it looks pretty badass. This is what I could create in a short period of time because I'm because I have to go now, but I'm still gonna add some effects. I'm gonna also wait a sec. I'm gonna uncheck uh, the black text that I just created, like this one, and I'm gonna pull it to the left a little, like that. I'm gonna pull it down a little, and I'm planning to decrease the opacity. I go, I'm gonna go to the transparency, go to the opacity. I'm gonna bring it down to somewhere around 29. Look at that, looks pretty dope. And in, and, and basically it added some internal shadows. And so far, this was it. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye.